I mean, Frankfurt and Munich almost every year make it in the top 10 of most livable cities in the world. Uh, so I'm curious to know what is your opinion on the architecture scene, on the city development, uh, if you think something is done particularly well or something uh, can be still improved. Um, yeah, starting with the scene, um, I think um, both cities, and uh, you're you're perfectly right there, uh, that, that, that's a quite, uh, a quite alive architectural scene. It's not only an architectural scene, I would say the whole real estate scene. Yeah, that's... Um, I always say, and that's that's in Frankfurt and in Munich quite similar. It's um, it's I always say it's around two hundred to two hundred fifty people who are doing mainly uh, the, the the development of the city. If you say it like this, it's it's some people of the local authorities which are really have an have a, have a mission. Let's say. There's a group of architecture in both cities which are mainly working there and really defining a lot of developments in in the in the uh, in this in both cities and it's uh, it's developers it's a changing scene there are coming up new ones but always slow but there are coming up new people and I think always interesting people and. Uh, there's a scene of the of the real estate consultants uh, which uh, which are really part of the scene for us as well because uh, we are really quite close to to them in in contact and it's also the lawyers which are working for for uh, for our clients especially so that's that's the scene and Everybody is talking about everybody. Everybody knows what project he is working on. And um, it's on one hand, it's a disadvantage that it's quite a close scene. On the other hand, it's an advantage because the people uh, who are really based in these cities, they're really interested in a quality development because they stay there. They are not the ones coming outside from London uh, uh, understanding a project as an Excel sheet, uh, which has to, to spend money. And uh, if it works, they are out. Yeah. Building finished, sold, and uh, running to the next city. Uh, so uh, these local developers or these local players, let's see, this scene is really interested in politics, is really interested in the local politics, is really interested in developing the city is interested in a timeline of 10 or 15 years because after one project is finished, they are always working on the second and the third one, which is going on. And uh, to keep it simple, they have to behave well <laughs> because they want to play together again. And uh, sometimes you can say somebody who is coming from outside is getting a fresher impulse into that game, that is okay. And it's that's sometimes okay because um, uh, mainly all the same players are always discussing in the same sort of solutions. Uh, but on the other hand, you see how quickly, for example, Frankfurt and Munich as well develops, how open they are for modern architecture, how interesting parts of the city developed over the years. What in Frankfurt is the museums of uh, the, the, the large developments which are really take place, took place along the main river, how the inner city area with the high rises develops. In Munich, it's a, a different uh, discussion. Or if you just start talking about a high rise, you have a great opposition. <laughs> everybody wants to keep the city flat in Frankfurt. Everybody sees it as a quality when the uh, when the city is going vertical. Uh, so it's it's different sort of solution. Munich is more traditional based. Uh, Frankfurt is more innovative in architecture, maybe a bit more open. Um, but Munich changed a lot because of the tech industry uh, since Microsoft, Amazon. Uh, Apple and and Google are based uh, in their in their German headquarters in Munich, 
uh, the, the the quality of architecture and uh, the need of the tenants, and uh, so change change quite a lot. Not in the inner city areas, but especially in these parts. So I think I think the scene is uh, really a quality for these cities, and that's typical for Berlin and for Cologne as well. And uh, I think it's important that you are still open to do different things which are come from outside and that you have really an open view of what is happening all over the world. Yeah. So that this scene is not looking too close. 